once, long, long ago, yet somehow not so very long ago, the Hebrew children of God went down into Egypt to avoid the famine. They lived there with their brother, Joseph, who had become a great and powerful leader among the Egyptians. Because of Joseph, the Hebrews were, giving the, were given the best grazing land by the Pharaoh. Eventually, that generation died, even Joseph. But they had many, many children, so that Egypt was filled with the Hebrew people. But then a new king, the Pharaoh, who knew nothing about Joseph, came into power. I've made the Hebrew people into my slaves and forced them to make the bricks to build my cities. But they keep growing in numbers, having more and more babies. In great fear, Pharaoh called in two Hebrew midwives for help. A midwife helps birth their children. Here's what happens next. I wonder what Pharaoh, Pharaoh wants from us. We haven't done anything wrong. Oh well, let's get this over with. It's good you're here. I need your help. You need our help? Listen carefully. When you help the Hebrew woman give birth, if the baby is a girl, leave it alone. But if the baby is a boy, it's got to go. Do you hear me? Now be gone. What is he thinking? We're midwives. We can't do that. God wouldn't like it. What will we do? I have a plan. Several months later, Pharaoh got really, really mad because the Hebrew people continued to have more and more babies, both boys and girls. So Pharaoh called the midwives back to see him. We're going to get in trouble. No, we won't. We did the right thing. God is with us. But what will we say? Don't say anything. I'll do the talking. Why are you letting all of the baby boys live? We can't help it. The Hebrew women give birth really quickly, so the babies are born before we even get there. That's it. Throw every Hebrew baby boy into the Nile River. The big sister of one of those newborn baby boys was a brave girl named Miriam. She said to her mother, Mom, did you just hear what Pharaoh said? That's not going to happen to my baby. I know this is a great risk, but I'm putting your brother in a basket coated in tar and pitch, and I'm going to float it down the river. I trust that God will find a safe home for him. Miriam, I want you to follow behind at a safe distance and see where the river takes him. Miriam guided her baby brother in that basket all the way down the river through the bulrushes until she came upon the palace of Pharaoh. What was that? It sounds almost like a baby. Oh look, there's something in the weeds. It's a baby, a little boy. I'll bet you it's one of the Hebrew babies. Oh look how cute he is. Should I find someone to take care of him? Pick me, pick me! Okay, yes. And when he's older, I'll raise him in the palace as if he's one of my own. What will we name him? I'll call him Moses because I drew him out of the river. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.